The Nigerian Navy has reiterated its commitment to combat piracy and other maritime criminalities as they collaborate with Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center in conjunction with the Denmark government to organize a five-day training to key law enforcement agencies. The Navy said such partnerships have been yielding good results, as seen in the significant drop in piracy and incidents of maritime crime in Nigeria and Gulf of Guinea. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. This training, which centers around developing maritime security culture in the Gulf of Guinea, brings a holistic approach in the management of Nigeria's maritime environment and requires a coordinated effort among the security agencies operating within the domain. Flag Officer Commanding Western Naval Command, represented by Rear Admiral Habila Zakaria, said most maritime crimes call for cooperatively framed responses. He therefore commended the Denmark government and the training center. It is in the light of this that I'm excited about the potentials of this capacity building effort to draw attention to the seemingly innocuous but crucial role of cultural considerations to maritime security governance. The commander of the training center, Major General Francis Ofori, also spoke of the Gulf of Guinea being at a critical juncture in its socio-economic and political development of Africa, hence the training. Over the last decade, the region has faced a number of maritime security threats which include maritime piracy, armed robbery, and transnational organized crime. You've heard a number of them. The ECOWAS and ECAS, in a bid to stem the tide of these threats, join up under the Yaoundé architecture in efforts to coordinate their response to the insecurity of the Gulf of Guinea. Danish ambassador to Ghana, Tom Noring, spoke on the importance of the Gulf of Guinea to his country and the need for criminal elements to be read off of the region. The previous course is held in other African countries, which trained 164 maritime security actors at both regional and national levels. Recently, the federal government launched the Deep Blue Project as the first integrated maritime security strategy in West and Central Africa with the aim of tackling the incidences of piracy, sea robbery and other crime. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.